In this video, we will learn about indefinite integrals. Indefinite integrals basically means there's no interval. There is no specified interval of integration. Uh, like the limits are not given. Say it's 0 to 3. This is definite integral. Indefinite must be any limit. Now here they have specified some values. This is to find the constant term. We have to just do integrals by uh, the formulas and solve it up. Now, if you remember, before we have done the similar problem in differentiation, we had been given the position function with respect to time and we were asked to find acceleration or velocity. If we derive position function d by dx, we would get what? We would get velocity and if we had derived velocity d by dx with respect to time, we would get acceleration all are with respect to time. This was the thing. Now we go the opposite side. Integrals is opposite, right? When we integrate this, we must get only velocity over here we are. And when we integrate velocity, we must get position. That's the concept. So here they have given us the velocity function. All you need to do is integrate the velocity function and find the position s of t. That is equal to 3 minus 2rt integral dt because they have given in terms of time t. If you want, you can just change this to x and dx. That's fine. Now, what happens over here? Use the formulas. Power rule. There's nothing. It'll be 3 times t and minus 2rt squared by 2 plus c. This is important. But we need to find the uh, position function. And they have given the initial position already. So we can find the constant of integration. What we need to do now is we need to apply this over here s of 0 right now we have this term as s of t so substitute as 0 so what happens everywhere wherever t is they make it 0 to all into 0 squared by 2 plus c what happens here is s sorry now don't write s of 0 because we know what is s of 0 value it's 3 write that here it'll be 0 minus 0 plus c so 3 is equal to c so the position function with respect to time would be 3t minus 12 by 12 will be 6, uh, 12 by 2 will be 6t squared plus 3. This is the answer. Now, if you're thinking, oh, is it always the c value? This will always be the c value. No, if it is sine function and any polynomial, yes, it will be always this. This will be directly taken as c. Here, the, is there any sine function or exponentials? No, right? So we can directly take it. Otherwise, if there is cosine function or if there is exponential, you need to substitute and do this because this changes. That's how we do it. We'll see one more problem. Now, remember in the previous uh, video, that is the question number nine, we had done a shortcut method for integration in calculator. Yes, that is absolutely possible in this because there's only one integral to do. You can take this and check over here. That's possible. But the problem is if you have, say, two options, this is one option. And one more option is like this itself. But they have given like, say, minus 60 squared plus 0. Now, this is a problem. We know this for this particular case. This is the correct answer. It should be plus 3 as C. C is 3. But what if your option is something like this? Then we can't use the calculator method because for both, we'll get the same answer. So try to remember the formulas over here and try to solve it by yourselves. You can see the answers are worked out over here. Now, what about this problem? It's the same thing. But do you remember the formula for e to the power minus t? e to the power minus x, the integral is e to the power minus x, but minus sign is there. So we have to remember that. So integral of 3e minus t minus 2 dt. It will directly be minus 3e to the power minus t minus 2t plus c. And over here you need to substitute this 0 every way. Now this is basically s of t, right? Now s of 0 will be minus 3e to the power minus 0. 0 is neutral, doesn't matter the sign. 2 times, this is 2 times 0 plus c. Now here, what is s of 0? It's 0. Then we have minus 3 here. Okay, because this is 1. e to the power 0 is 1. Minus 0 plus c. So c will be equal to, take this to the other side, positive 3. So this function over here 
minus 3 e to the power minus t minus 2t plus 3. This would be the final answer. So that's how we solve this one. You can see the answer is negative 3 e to the power minus t minus 2t plus 3. It's not 0. Don't directly take it. And here now we have been given the acceleration function, not the velocity. So we have to integrate it once, find the velocity and then integrate it again. But both the times when you do it, you have different constant of integration. So we have to substitute by step by step. We will solve this now. So velocity with respect to time would be integral of 3 sine t plus 1 dt. Now what will be the integral, integral over here? It will be 3. Now the answer is cosine t. Whenever you get the answer of integral as c values, in this sense cosine, cotangent, cosecant, you have to put a minus sign. Plus 1 means you have to write t. That's it. Plus c. Now how do you find the c? So we know the initial velocity v of 0 is over here 0. So let's substitute every way t values as 0. So cos of 0 plus 0 plus c. Now what is cos of 0? If you put in the calculator, you'll get 1. So minus 3 times 1 plus 0 is gone. Plus c will be equal to v of 0 is 0. So 3 will be equal to c. So this is the constant of integral. Uh, for the velocity function. So velocity with respect to time t will be minus 3 cos t plus t plus 3. This is the answer. Now th this is not a final answer. They have asked for the position function. Integrate this over here. So integrate both the sides you will get position function. So integral of 3 cosine t plus t plus 3 here it will be minus 3. What is the integral of cosine? This is just sine. The sine is positive itself. But we already have a minus sign, so we remain, we leave this as minus plus t squared by 2 plus 3t plus c. Here we need to find the constant of integration for the position function. So let's substitute s of 0 because we know the s of 0 value, right? So everywhere, wherever t is there, put 0 plus 0 squared by 2 plus 3 of 0 plus c. c will remain as it is. Now what is s of 0? That is 4, the initial position, minus 3, okay, everything becomes 0 over here. Why? Because it's sine. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus c. So c value is 4. Now substitute back in the position function. s of t is equal to minus 3 sine t plus t squared by 2 plus 3t plus 4. This is the final answer. This is the position function. And that's how we solve it. Here the entire solutions are worked out as well. You can... Um, I just realized that this is wrong. They have missed out, see, this constant part 1, right? They have just forgotten over here. So they have not written t. So that's why this answer is wrong. All the other things are correct, but they have forgotten this t initially. So that's the reason. Please make a note. Please follow what I've written on the screen now. The solution for the 47 question is wrong. I apologize for that. Now, other questions are straightforward. I'll just go through the solutions. Here, they have to, if we have to integrate it, yes, it becomes like this. Plus, yeah, it's all right. And then you need to find the initial, use the initial position and find the C value and then substitute and then integrate this. Everything is all right over here. This is the answer. So that is how we can solve the position functions from velocity or from acceleration. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comments.